What's going on? It's your boy Rock from Flip the Thrift. We're going to go out today and check this storage unit out. Um, I got up while I was using the bathroom, scrolling the phone, you know the deal. Um, I seen that there's going to be a, um, a storage unit sale today. And I'm going to go check it out. He said a lot of the items are going to be free. I got to go pull some money out and we're going to get started now. And if you guys like this type of content, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Smash that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below and hit the notification bell to get notified when I post another video. Let's get started. There it is. Found a GameCube. About time I found something good in the Goodwill bins. Um, I found a GameCube. I found some, some Dansko, Mary Jane's. Um, leather shoes i found some coach leather shoes i don't know if they're real yet i'm gonna have to look them up they don't say coach on the bottom that's the thing that's concerning me and they say they say real leather on the on the on the bot you know on the padding on the on the foot part like so i don't know if they're real or not but stay tuned for the whole video you won't want to miss it okay we are back at the shop aka the basement the dungeon um, I'm going to show you what I picked up, and we're going to get started right now. So this I picked up yesterday for 10 doll hairs. Um, the Kinect in there, whoa, don't want to drop it. But um, it's in pretty good condition. I do have, I actually have one of these laying around to put with it. I, I'm going to see if I can get a Kinect and a controller for this. I do not have an Xbox controller. I may just sell it just the way that it is, maybe even without the, without the box. But I did pick up the Kinect today. I thought that I had it and I seen one in the store today and I was like, you know what, let me just grab it. I did pick up two items from the Salvation Army. Um, here is the game, the Connect game. Um, this is obviously, yeah, see, this is the one. This is actually the one that goes in that set. It's actually the same game because it doesn't have a barcode on it. So um, that one is one that's sold with a set. So I'm guessing that that is the set and that's the right one. So, yeah. Okay, all right. Now I've never seen um, a lot of a lot of companies. They will kind of branch out and do different things. They do a lot of Orvis does a lot of like tactical and um, you know like vests and jackets and stuff like that, like hunting equipment. But um, I did find this, and they do sell for about. This is a rayon Hawaiian shirt. It's pretty nice. It's a medium. It's kind of small for a medium, so I'm gonna have to do the measurements. This may even be a woman's. I'm gonna have to see exactly what size it is but um well it's a medium obviously but i want to see if um yeah i'll just have to check the measurements on that one i just like completely lost track of what's even going on i'm really busy right now we're in the middle of moving so i'm just like my mind is just not where it should be right now all right so this is everything that i got at the bins so i picked up this bluegrass camo um it says bluegrass Dickinson. Dickinson is the college out here in Harrisburg. So, um, it's an APG, real tree. It's a nice hat. It's brand new with tags. So I figured I'll give it a shot and I'll, I'll get it up and get it listed. Um, it's got the guitars on the front of it. It's really cool. Probably something that I'd get a couple bucks for. And I picked up this jersey. This is a Paris, um, St. Germain. It's the fly... I guess it's Emirates, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm butchering it, I'm not even going to try to do that name, so, but um, anyway, in Nike, and like Puma, and things like that, mostly Nike, this jersey actually does very well, um, this is kind of like, probably like a copy, so it's not like, it's not going to sell for as much, so I'm thinking that I could probably get about 25, I think the Nike sells for about 50 new. So, or 50 used. Okay, so these don't really count. These are the Pumas. I'm going to give these to my son. These are kind of big. They might even fit my, they might fit my wife. I'm not sure. I wear a large in most things, not everything. All right, so I got these Danskos. They put rubber bands around all their shoes. This is from the bins from the, um, the pay, the weigh and pay. These are called a Mary Jane. These are Danskos. These are not your typical nursing clogs. These are just Mary Janes, but um, 
I'm guessing that they're pretty comfortable. I'm going to have to clean them out a little bit on the inside. Um, spray them with some Lysol, you know, do it up. But um, for the most part, for being suede, they're actually in pretty good condition. The bottoms are looking all right. I'm not really sure what these are worth. I know they're Dansko. That's the reason why I grabbed them. I figured that they probably have a little bit of value. And I was showing you guys this earlier. This was the big score of today, the GameCube. I'm definitely going to have to test it. It's really neat the way they made it really small and where you could just kind of take it anywhere. But the guy told me today that I was not aware of that you can use the Wii because um, all of the pieces were like backwards compatible. Um, so you can take the, the cords from the Wii and, and use them to plug them into here. I don't think that it's the same for the original Nintendo. I don't think so. But for this and yeah, but for this and the um and the Wii, they're exactly the same. I don't know about the um about the this not the Switch, but the Wii U. I don't know if that's the same. I think they are. Not I'm not 100% sure. So I did get a, I did get several pairs of shoes. So I got that pair. Um, these I didn't know what these were until I looked in the bottom. These are Allen Edmonds. I'm gonna look up the style code to see exactly what these are. They kind of have like a cross bicycle toe. Usually when there's like a when there's a um when there's a stitch in the middle, it's like it's called a bicycle toe. But I don't know exactly what those are. I picked them up. They got a little bit of drag on the heel. They're not too bad. So somebody asked me if I wanted this sweater, and I said yes. So this is made in Italy, United Colors of Benetton. Um, it's just really cool. Has a pretty cool design. I think I'd get a couple bucks for it. Um, I think I spent a total of like $35. 30-something, which isn't too bad. It has the big, big logo at the bottom where the pocket is. Um, it's just a cardigan, really cool cardigan. So we'll see how we do. Um, these were just kind of laying there. I don't know why nobody picked these up. It's kind of weird that they didn't, but um, they're definitely real. These are authentic. These are Rock Revival. Rock Revival is a really expensive brand. You can get them in Gabriel Brothers for like $50. Um, 50 new, maybe something like that, about 50 bucks. But they're like 100 something in the store, so you can get them for half the price. Um, these are Rock Revivals. You'll know when you see them. They always have that orange writing on the inside. Um, all of the telltale signs in these tell me that these are definitely authentic. Rock Revival name, logo, pocket, blah, blah, blah. Um, there should be, there should be like rivets on the inside. I don't know, I thought that it would have, I don't think these have that. I think only on the true religions they have the horseshoes on the inside and the, on the rivets, but these do not. Okay, so I picked these up. These are in really good shape. These are just under armor. Just a pair of shorts just to kind of beat around. They're really light, super light, and that's what we need right now. We're, we're having like this scorcher, you know, right now of heat. So I picked up all of these. These all have like little stickers on them. Why no one can be like Mike the Shot. Okay. So I got all these, somebody handed these all to me. And I'm going to sell these in a lot. They're going to do very well. So we have that one. We have the shot. We have, I'm going to keep that on there. I don't know what that is. Then we have the last stand. And this is good. This one doesn't have a label on it. So that one wasn't. Then we have a Sammy Sosa. Probably not worth too much. But these are in pretty good condition. Um, this one is the Chicago, Michael Jordan and the Bulls. This is him gambling. So, pretty cool. That one's Chicago Confidential. Then we have an Allen Iverson, which is pretty neat. Not as bad as you think. Yeah. That's funny. What's that supposed to mean? Then we have the Wizard of Knoxville, Tennessee's Viking John cashes in. I don't know what this is. I have no idea. I don't know what that one is. And then we have another Jordan one. MJ rises again. Boom. What year are these? 98. So these are from the 90s. They're in very good condition. That's the best part. I've real I tried to make sure that I put them in the in the um into my container without bending them all up. So they they survived. They're in great shape. So 
Okay, I got this for me. This is personal. I'm going to fill this with water, water, whatever, something good to drink, and I'll have it all day. So I think if I fill this with ice, it should stay cold for a while. It even has a lid. That's pretty cool. I guess you don't need the lid. It has the drink. It has the drink spout. You don't really need the lid, but this is a brand new cup. Yeah, this was a brand new cup. I tried to get a dollar for it, and no one bought it. Amazing that no one bought this for a dollar. I guess they didn't need it. I think it's cool. I'm going to use it. All right, so these I have to authenticate. I got to make sure that these are real. Um, they don't say anything on them. These are Coach. Obviously, they're Coach. They just, they don't say Coach anywhere on them. They don't say Coach on the bottom. They just say, they just say Real Leather. And they have a 39. Uh, yeah. Can we get it right? Man, I'm like out of it today. Okay, I don't know. I mean, they're made really good. So, they're in great condition. They're like almost new. So, alright, we'll see. Maybe they're not real coach. I'll have to look them up. Alright, we'll have to... Take an extra look at that. All right, so this is a smart light. This is like, these are pool lights. I think that this is complete. If this is complete, and if this is new, then this is worth about $70. So two of them sold for 70 bucks. If I get 50 for this, I'll be happy. It is heavy. I probably should charge shipping on that. I should probably list it for 50, charge the shipping, and then just go from there. Got these plates, these Hercules McDonald plates. These are from... These are from the 90s too, I think. 97, all right. So we have that one, we have that one, we have that one. And then the other one is just a copy. So, all right, okay. And this is a metal detector and it works. Let's see. It works. So, um, this is like a junior model. This is for like kids. Um, it's not the adult one, but it, I mean, it pretty much does everything else that the other one does. I might actually keep this because we did have some and they weren't like this one. Um, they weren't, I don't think they were in as good condition as this one. This one's really cool. I mean, if you drop this on the sand or something, you'll be able to find it. So, um, yeah, pretty cool. Probably worth about $30 or something like that. Mm. I, I don't know if I would want to ship that. All right, so this is a poster. I'm just going to go ahead and take that off. I don't think this is anything that my kids would want to. I think it's Toy Story. Yeah. Okay, so this is cool. This is three. All right, so this is Disney Pixar Toy Story 3 poster. All right. There's a number at the bottom of the poster, so I could probably just get a... It's really hard to photograph posters. Like, I don't know how to do it, you know? You have to put something on on every corner, you know, that's not big. I tried, like, using, like, soda cans, and I just... I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to list posters. I have so many posters, and I just dropped it. I don't care. All right, so I picked up all of these... I'm going to probably sell these in a lot. They just have like some, you know. Woohoo! All right, these are Abercrombie and Fitch. Um, these are the ones that I see selling too, the ones with the guys on them. I don't see any girls, so yeah, I guess um, girls do most of the shopping, right? So they gotta have guys on. These are really, really good bags. Like they have, um, they have like fabric handles. So I think I'm going to do well with these. We have that one. We have, we have that one. So, you know, they all have guys on them. So, whatever. There's another one. I don't know how old they are. I don't know if they have dates on them. If there's a way to tell. But, um, I know that you can sell bags. I know that these bags sell. And a lot of people are doing, like, they're not, that you know, they don't want to use plastic right now. So... I'm thinking that there's one with a girl. There you go. But there's a guy on the other side. Okay. All right. So there's one with a girl. There we are. Now we're talking. But 
we got, oh, this one's taped shut. Okay, so this one just has maybe the best part. I don't know. Depends on how you want to look at it. And uh, we got another one here. Another one with a guy on it. And then another one with a guy on it. There's that one. Dropping them. There's another one. And then we have Hollister, too. I did pick up a couple Hollisters. Maybe I'll put them together. And I grabbed this Izod. Um, it's just like a little, like a wristlet type of deal. I'm not really sure what you'd call this. It just kind of opens and I don't see any tags on the inside, so I don't know. I don't know if this is authentic or not. I wonder if it says Izod on the thing. We can take the wristlet piece off too as well. Let me see. Yeah, Lacoste. It's not Izod, it's Lacoste. Izod Lacoste is when they kind of like, I don't know if that's a collaboration. I don't know if it's two brands. But then there's Hollister too. So you get the picture. There's Hollister. There's American Eagle. There's another Hollister. Most of them are Abercrombie and Fitch. So I don't know if I should just put them all together. But there's a lot of them. There's like a good bit. There's enough for me to make a decent amount of money. Like probably if I sold all of these. I'd probably get like 30 bucks. At least for all of them. So not too bad. All right, so let's see what else we got. We got a, I'm going to give this to my daughter. It says every child is a story yet to be told. This is brand new. I was trying to open it and it wouldn't open. I was like, oh, that's because it's new. I wonder how much these are when they're new. They sell them at Kohl's. So my daughter has these all over the house. So diet, a diet pony. It's a diet pony drink. We got to get this done because... I got to get some pictures done. I got to get some listening. All right, so here's a hard day's night. I don't know if there's another tape to this. If there's, um, this is the only tape, but this is a Beatles. Um, I'll definitely, I'll probably get like 12 bucks for that. Maybe 15, 20. I, I'm not sure what that one's worth. And what else did we see? A bunch of stuff. I, mean, I don't know if these are silver. I'm going to have to double check them. We got a hockey puck. This one is the Phoenix Coyotes. That's obviously a minor, probably a minor league. I got a little money clip. Got a knife. Really nice, um, really nice snap on knife. It's got a gold. That's got to go. I got to get rid of that. Um, I'll clean this up with some goo gone and I'll use this. That way I'll have another knife. It doesn't have, um, it doesn't have a clip on it. So I'll have to just put that in a container somewhere. And then this was a money clip, but it had a lot of writing on it, a lot of inscriptions on it. So I was just kind of wondering who it's made by. It's got some Velcro on the end. I don't know why. Um, what are you supposed to stick to it? Is that supposed to be there? Fremont Hotel and Casino. What's the Velcro for? I guess you can stick, stick whatever you want on it. Who makes them? It is... It says glove clip plus patented. Glove clip plus. Hmm. Okay. This is for your glove. This is probably something that they give to the, um, maybe to the employees to put your gloves on. Oh, it's falling apart. Oh, that's a magnet. Weird. Oh, no. I'll have to do a little bit of research on this. My guess is that it's probably not worth anything. I just grabbed it and threw it in the cart just, you know, just in case it's worth something. Jewelry polish pad. Now, I've seen some stuff in here. So, I was like, let me see what this is. This is... That's the jewelry polish pad. But what's this in here? It's not a butterfly. It's an angel. I'm guessing that goes in through there. It's just your, just a regular little bracelet. It's nothing special. It's just, it's just a little bracelet. It's got an angel on it. Um, it's not marked. I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's not worth anything. I'll take an, another look at it later. But it's got plastic on it, and this is a jewelry polisher. It was that was in there, so I just threw it in the cart. 
see if it was real. And I picked up this pin. Really cool. Where'd it go? Okay, so I'm trying not to drop it. All right, so this is Salisbury Pewter. Um, there's a couple of them listed for like 20 bucks. Um, I'll probably just undercut them for like $15, and I'll just go from there. This thing is looking like kind of like junk. Didn't know what it was. I see it's a fish. Um, I'm guessing if that was like gold, it's just kind of, I don't know if that's a lure. That was a real lure. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's real gold. I don't know. So, you know, whatever. All right, and we got a controller. This one is a gear for Xbox. It's got the analog button there. Oh, this one probably lights up. I wonder if I plug it in, if it will do anything. If it will light up. Might, oh, there we go. We have power. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm going to put this with... Um, this should go with the 360. Yeah, I'm going to put this with the 360. This is really nice. So I'm going to use this controller with the 360. I wasn't even thinking about it. Um, this is nice. Yeah, this is for the 360, I'm guessing. It's got a target button on the back. So I'm going to check and see what this controller is worth. Um, if it's worth a lot, then I might sell it separate. I don't know really cool so then i can definitely check it to see if it works i should bring it home tonight and check the problem with, with my shop is i don't have a tv i have to get a small tv so that i can test some units you know so i can test out the, the stuff who is that is that is that leonardo donatello i don't know who the blue one is but that's, this is probably an older one Let's see if we can get the Man, that is really small print. I just, I, I'm not just blind. It's, I can't see small print like that. So I think he's an older one. Usually I zone, zoom in with my phone. And that's the best way for you to see really, really small print. Like this, the print on that toy is really small. I don't think anybody can see that. No, even if you have glasses. All right, so we got a couple of remotes. There's a couple more things in the box. This just says Universal Remote Control. I don't know what brand that is. I don't. I usually pick remotes up. Sometimes they're worth money. Sometimes they're not. Here's a Sony one. This is a Sony CD one. This remote's like ten bucks. Remotes are usually only worth a few bucks, but um, people need them. They go online to find them, and you know they just kind of go from there. What is that? Is that the receipt? That is a piece of paper. That is trash. Let's see if we can make it. Score. All right. So the name of this wallet is Wallflower. I'm guessing that this is a men's wallet. Um, I usually pick wallets up when I see them. I sometimes I give them to my kids. This is brand new. It still has everything in it. So I'm gonna sell this. Um, I don't think that my boys need it. I'm gonna look it up and see what it's worth. And we'll just go from there. I did pick another wallet up. Um. It's always good to have an extra wallet, a spare wallet. This one's nice. Let's see. Genuine leather. Da 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 da. Made in India. Um, this is just Amer this is American Eagle Outfitter. This wallet might be worth a few bucks. I, I don't know. Um, but you know, it's just a nice basic wallet. Okay, so we did pick up a watch. I don't know if any of these will fit on it. I looked it up. It's not really worth that much. I don't know if these are for Apple. These might fit on that one. You know, I don't know if they're all these bands are universal, but here is the. Okay, let's do. Let's throw this bag out real quick. Let's get the watch. All right, so here is the watch. There's some jewelry in here. I pick this up. I'm guessing that that's sterling. It's just, um, I forget what that link is called. We call it Gucci. We call it a Gucci link. But I'm guessing it might be, it might be gold. It's really dirty. 
It definitely needs to be clean. I'm going to clean it up and we'll go from there. We'll see what it's worth. If it's gold, going right to the pawn shop. Probably get 100 bucks for it. So, here's the watch. It is called an iTouch Air 2S. It's not worth that much. Really, not really. Um, these two things are, there's a junk. All right, so there's a little charm. I got to check that and see what's going on with that. If that's silver, if it's, you know, if it's anything. I'm going to look for markings on that also, so we'll put that over there. So here is what the watch looks like. This must be the charger. Oh, wow, look, it goes covers the whole watch. It just goes over the watch. And there's the watch. It's actually not a bad-looking watch. I might actually keep this, you know, just to kind of wear. If I can sync this to my... Um, If I can sync this to my phone and I like it, and then there was more bands. Where's the bands at? Then we have all all of these bands to go with it. I got to make sure that they fit. Um, these are the ones that slide in, so they're not it. Those ones slide in. I don't know what they're for. They're not for this watch. These are different also. There's another one. That one's different. Those are different. They'll probably just be junk. There's another one where they slide they slide in. I don't know if they'll fit any of the ones that my wife has. Then there's this one. That one's just a one piece. I don't know how that works. But um, anyway, we have the watch. We have the charger. We're going to charge it right now. And I have the box for it. So I know what it is. I don't have to guess. Let's see if we can plug this into into my computer and see there it goes it's charging cool let it charge being what we paid for it didn't really pay that much for it so not too bad i found a fitbit also here's another band there's nothing to i'm probably just going to throw all the bands away they're probably all junk i wasn't sure i figured i'd just grab them just to make sure um this is a fitbit Fitbit Flex wireless wristband. It's somebody wrote on it that's saying that it was the wristband. It says band only wireless wristband. So this you have to charge also. So I don't know how this works. I'm gonna take it off. Yeah, the piece goes inside. So that is what this is. It's just the band. So I don't know if this is worth anything by itself. Probably, if I'm gonna, if I was to guess, probably not. It's probably not worth anything. But it feels like there's an accessory in here, maybe. I guess we're just gonna rip it open. Get it to come out. Oh, there it is. That pulls out like that. All right, what's in the box? There's the cord. All right, so we do have the cord. It's just missing the main. It's missing the main piece. And there's another one. Yep. And there's another piece. Okay. All right. So we may just need to. I may actually be able just to sell the charger and the two pieces by themselves, and just maybe toss the box out. Because the box is just the box is terrible. Yeah. Okay, so not too bad for 30 bucks. I mean, I don't know why I picked this up. This goes to a Nintendo 3DS. I have no idea what it is. It's just something that it sits on. I did have a couple other pieces also that were, that were, I think, I believe they were fans to cool down. One was for a PS3, and I think the other one may have been, might have been for the PS4 or an Xbox. I don't know what they were, but um, I believe that's what they were. They were fans. Okay, so I don't know how this works. Judging by that, I believe that you put in the 3DS. It just kind of plugs into this. This piece might have a little bit of value. I'll look it up and see what it's worth. And if it's not worth anything, then I'll just, you know, I'll just toss it out. So last but not least, um, 
Didn't we get some Allen Edmonds? Yeah, there's Allen Edmonds. But these are Johnson Murphy. This is um, this is called Kilty. That's what that's called. This right here is the wing tip, and then when you see the little holes all over like that, that's called bro um, that's called brogue. So these are Aristocrat. I think I've sold these before. The bottoms of them aren't too bad. They're not soft, so they do have good. This one's a little, a little soft, not that bad. They still have a little bit of life left in them. I could probably get like thirty bucks for these, twenty-five or thirty, something like that. But um, being that I picked them up there, I didn't pay that much for them. I probably I only paid like probably two dollars for them, so it was worth picking them up. So. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to check out this jewelry. We're going to see what's going on with the Fitbits. And we're going to just start getting things listed. And I'm going to get the heck out of here because it's already 4 o'clock and i got to take my mail. So let's get some stuff listed. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Smash that like button. Don't forget to comment down below. Hit the notification bell for when I post new content. Peace out.